prepare to be inspired by the incredible Christina Cavett, founder of the Kindness Institute and recent New Zealand Order of Merit recipient for her work for service to youth and the community. Ooh. Good morning to you. Yes. Good morning. Congratulations yeah. to you, by the way. Congratulations. Yes. So this nice. is amazing. I mean, how did it feel to receive such an award? Pretty shocking. I'm kind of still waiting to get the email to say they got the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was huge, like an enormous honour to recognise all of the mahi that all of our volunteers have put into it. You know, it's not just me, obviously. It's a huge team to do this, and there's been a lot of personal sacrifice from everyone. And, yeah, just really honoured to be recognised alongside some other incredible women fighting for their communities as well. And how do they let you know? Is it just through standard letter? I actually got a call from the Prime Minister's office, and I was like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> but then you get a standard letter, and we have the ceremony in September. Now, you've joined us over the last few years to talk about the Kindness Institute and for those who might have missed it can you tell us a little bit about it I mean what's it all about yeah sure so the Kindness Institute is a charitable trust that was started kind of in response to our youth mental health crisis so we know that Aotearoa has the highest teen suicide rate in the developed world actually New Zealand's teen suicide rate is so high that it's raised the global average That's so terrifying. Yeah, it's horrific. So we started the trust um, to support young people to improve their own well-being and to pro improve their own lives. So we do that mostly through mindfulness and stress management based programs and we work in mainstream schools, alternative education and youth justice and with women in prison as well. Wow. And tell me about the t-shirts. I've just seen the entire crew wearing those t-shirts before. <laughs> tell me more about them. Um, aroha mai, aroha atu t-shirts. So that means love received is love given. So we sell these t-shirts to raise funds for our charity work on our website. They are very oh, cool. We can I buy one to help you out? Thekindnessinstitute.com. Okay, nice. Excellent. Love that. <laughs> and now, can you tell us about the Atafai weekend workshops that you hold? Yeah, so Atafai is our core program. So we work with a group of young people who have a bit of low self-efficacy and they're the kind of kids who have a lot of potential but don't get a lot of opportunities so yeah. we work with them intensively in the school holidays doing mindfulness based programs and then weekend workshops and coaching and mentoring to support them to really turn their own lives around so a big part of what they're doing is training the trainer so we're teaching our young people these tools for themselves but their mahi kainga, their homework is to go and teach their whānau which is why it has such a big ripple effect and I think why we're having so much demand for our programs. See on screen there, it looks amazing. Yeah, it does look amazing. And where do you want to take these workshops in the future? Well, our dream is that every young person in the country is going to have access to our programs. So we we have the evidence behind what we're doing. We're really lucky that 100% of our young people in Atafai have reported a reduction in stress. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, we just need the resource to scale up mm. to be able to take it. And you've got to give a little page set up for Atafai, haven't you? What are the, your hopes and dreams? So we're trying to raise $15,000 to continue Atafai to keep working with these same beautiful beautiful young people and to bring on some more young people in need as well. How did they react to the mindfulness side of things? Because a lot of them it would be the first time that they're coming across these skills. Yeah, definitely, you know, when I'm recruiting young people, they're like, mindfulness, what the heck is that? There's <laughs> no idea, you know, or maybe have seen people doing yoga and oming, that's kind of their visual of it. But once they practice it, like any of us who've given it a go, they start to feel the benefits. And I think it's not rocket science, it's just being in an environment where you are given a lot of unconditional love, you start to feel safe and you start to trust yourself and that's when changes in your life begin to happen. So rewarding on so many levels, and for you in particular as well, I guess, you know, being at the head of it. Can you give me some examples of the changes that you've seen? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our programs have helped young people to reduce their anxiety and depression, increase their focus, compassion, positive relationships, huge benefits that blew me away. Um, but one young boy, he w went to school with a lot of kids who were very tough and did not talk about their emotions, right? 15 year old boys don't usually mm -hmm. do that in you New Zealand. <laughs> and um, so he started to feel quite anxious and had to isolate himself and as a way to deal with the pain he was self-harming. And he was referred to our program and started learning how to self-regulate his emotions and started practicing mindfulness and just flourished, became a real leader at school and in his community. And his mum recently came to me in tears thanking me for 
his transformation, but also for her own, because now she's practicing mindfulness every day and has oh, seen. That is so yeah. wonderful. Oh, we could talk to you for a long time. Oh, a time. oh that's amazing. Thank okay, you lovely. so much for coming thank in. You. Thank and you. congratulations as well. And I think if anyone wants more information, if you're inspired, head to thekindnessinstitute.com for more info.